It's Nicola Benedetti on the red carpet for the Classic Brits 2013 evening, Nicola. Nominee and performer. Now, I've spoken to Lang Lang and he said... What did he say? Well, he said, oh, it's great. We're good mates and we're performing together. How lovely is it to be able to perform with a friend on stage at the Royal Albert Hall? He, he's just absolutely brilliant. I mean, what a... What a force, what a personality and what a musician. Um, yeah, I, I, I have so much time for him. I mean, it's it's really, um, really a huge honour to be performing with him. But you have been here very recently, last week in fact, I think, doing a very special recital, which I understand was quite emotional for you. Yes, Tell us about that. You know that? <laughs> um, well, it was, because it was a self-named recital. It was just a programme of largely pretty hefty um, you know classical and chamber music um, in a hall this size and to have a near capacity audience I, I just couldn't believe it walking out I couldn't believe all of those people were there um, and I think it was um, the integrity with which we um, decided to plan the program it wasn't um, kind of a fear of oh, this is a huge hole to to fill let's just be like fun and short and entertaining all night we really the second half was a 45 minute long work um, and I and I spoke a lot to the audience throughout the evening and I think we just we believed in everything about the day when I say we I, say, I mean me and, and all the musicians I was performing with um, it was just it was emotional for many reasons but as we say, a lot of friends in the audience and an opportunity perhaps to let your hair down a little tonight. And you are a nominee and also celebrating a decade in the industry, Nicola, yeah. this year as well. How have you noticed it change? The industry? Um, I think there are subtle changes all the time, but I think it is an important question to ask because um, and to try to answer yourself because I think so many things, um, not just in classical music, but in... In, in so many um, performing industries and entertainment industries, things can move in directions of more and more commercialism. And I think it's important to assess the state of it now, compare it to five years ago, compare it to 10 years ago, and, and make sure that your mark of integrity isn't constantly shifting to suit a commercialism. And I feel that I've definitely tried to hold my hold my fort and just and and make sure that I've I've stayed strong and, and true to myself. And I think there are more and more um, classical musicians that are taking the best of, let's say, the marketing side of a much more pop orientated world, um, and the best of classical music and and trying to merge those two things rather than altering the music or shunning the marketing. I think we want to get the best of marketing out there. And of course, your workload is testament to how passionately you feel about it. But I understand the Queen has told you to take some time off. Have you heeded Her Majesty's advice? Um, this, this summer, I, I did actually take a little bit of time off. Yes. Tell her about it and enjoy tonight. Thank you so much. Thank you.